In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the new capability in NX12 for convergent modeling. We're going to take a look at how we can modify the result of a topology optimization that's been done to reduce assembly complexity. So here you can see our original design, and now we can take a look at the optimization features. And finally, we can take a look at the result of the topology optimization. And this is what we're going to use convergent modeling technology to modify. So let's start by converting the output from the topology optimization into a convergent body. Topology optimization uses finite element analysis and is based upon rules, constraints, load cases, and a mass target. So you can see that we've zoomed into a particular area of our optimized result. And it's an area that could still do with further refining. Now one option would be to rerun the topology optimization with a finer resolution. But in this particular case, we're going to utilize some of the new functionality within convergent modeling inside of NX12. So let's have a better look at exactly what's going on with these facets. And to do this, we're going to use display facet edges. So as you can see, by switching this on, we get a good look at the quality, consistency, and concentration of facet elements within the topology optimized body. So there are two ways that we can improve the quality of the facets in this area. We could either use the smooth command, or as we're doing here, we're going to use the subdivide facet body. And what this allows us to do is to select a region of the facet body and increase the number of facets in that particular area, which will then follow the form more closely and produce a smoother result, as you can see. Now this shape reflects the inputs that would have been included in the original topology optimization. However, there may be times where you may want to include a factor of safety. And in this particular case, we're going to look at adding a little bit more material to the area at the center of the screen. So to do this, we're going to use local offset, a new command in the reverse engineering area of NX12, where we can select part of the facet body and increase the thickness using an offset, together with control over the transition. As you can see here, we modify the offset and also modify the transition before we apply the command. So onto the next area of the facet body that we now want to make a modification to. And in particular, this sharp edge here you can see. We're going to use the new create transition command in NX12 to create a nice smooth flow between the top surface and the side wall. So we start by selecting along the edge of where the two areas meet. And as you can see, we get a preview of the size of the round that's going to be created. We're also able to dynamically drag some of the points and reposition them. And as you can see here, we can choose both the left and right hand extents and extend them and you see the preview update to match the modification. Once we're happy with it, we can preview the result before completing the command. And there you can see our nice smooth transition. Now the final area we'd like to take a look at is this one here that has the hole in it. Now this may be due to the optimization trying to match the mass target, but in reality we wouldn't want to see a hole here. So we'll use some of the tools in NX to actually fill in the hole. So we'll start by snipping away the area around the hole. And to do this, we'll use one of the new selection tools in NX12. We'll use a rough painting brush to select the facet area around the hole. So there you can see we've selected one boundary. And then we'll reverse the part over. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then finally, we'll use flood fill. And what this does it actually selects the area between the two boundaries. It's a very fast and effective way of selecting many facets in one go. So we complete the command and remove the material around the hole. 
and now we use the fill hole command with tangent smoothness to create the desired effect and there we are we've removed that hole and replaced it with some facets that match in tangency around the periphery of where the hole was. So to recap we took the result of a topology optimization and using some of the new tools in NX12 reverse engineering we were able to directly manipulate the facet body. We started by smoothing out a certain area using subdivide facet and then applying a local offset to thicken up that area. We then moved on to creating a smooth transition on a sharp edge and then finally using some of the new selection techniques inside of NX12 we removed a hole by snipping away a certain area and then filling that hole in with a tangent set of facets something that typically you would have only been able to do in a more bespoke or niche piece of software and it's these type of capabilities that make NX12 convergent modeling technology a powerful and unique tool.